All right, let's get into it. From uh, CNBC, Bernstein. Uh, Bernstein is a uh, Wall Street premier sell-side research and brokerage firm, and they deliver trusted research and execution that help their clients stay ahead of what's next. I didn't know who they were, so I had to go to the website. Boom, that's who they are. Yep, a brokerage firm, that's fine. All right, so anyway, Bitcoin could, could hit $150,000 by, by uh, 2025, predicts Bernstein. Dun, dun, dun. So it was actually published on October 31st, 2023, and it was updated October 30th. Well, it was October, oh yeah. It was updated the same day a couple hours later. So this is all before uh, Melina Khan, the wrath of Khan, could uh, have foreseen the current Bitcoin jump to 44,000. Let's go through real quick, see what they had to say. Bernstein said Tuesday it expects the price of Bitcoin could rise to 150,000 by mid 2025. Yeah, the happening's coming up, baby. The happening, the purging, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, I don't know why this is dated October 31st. I mean, we're over a month out, and they're saying it's new. Anyways, from Crypto World or it's Crypto World CNBC. Okay. Oh, let's go down. There's a lot of bitcoins right there. I guess you can buy those on Amazon and hold them, but they're just tokens they're not real anyway the price of bitcoin could rise to 150 by 2025 we just went over that uh they uh, they cite optimism and the uh basically like we've all been saying they're optimistic about the bitcoin etf exchange traded fund yeah they said that the firm expects the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, to approve a Bitcoin ETF by the first quarter of 2024. Woo! Anyway, that may catapult Bitcoin even higher, in my little humble opinion, and I'm just a peasant. So these guys are all in the big club that I'm not in. I'm not allowed in their big club. So who knows if they're trying to pump and dump? Boom, they might be pumping this thing up. So little peons like me go, oh my God, it's gonna go to the moon. I'm gonna buy more. I just don't know, it could. But you never know when these people put out articles what their motivation is. Uh, if you like the thing, buy it. If you don't, don't buy it. It's your money. Do not read any article and believe what they say or listen to any fool like me on YouTube. Uh, let's see, Bernstein also expects that ETF approval would shift up to 10% of Bitcoin circulating supply toward ETFs, that makes sense. Oh, let's see, it, it, uh, this approval would allow conventional investors, the old schoolers, the old timers, the original gangsters, to uh, get Bitcoin exposure directly from their investment portfolios. Yeah, they're gonna call up their, their peeps at Bernstein and say, Billy Bob, get me in some of that Bitcoin ETF, and they're gonna go right away, sir and everybody will make money and the world will be a happy place. But then you got JP Morgan, Jamie Dimon over there saying uh, to the Senate Banks Committee, whatever they are, shut it down, shut down crypto. It's uh, it's competing with my uh, JPM coin. Re, re, re. Yeah. You may not like Bitcoin as much as we do, but a dispassionate view of Bitcoin as a commodity suggests a turn of the cycle. Shungangangina wrote, a good idea is only as good as its timing. Uh, SEC approved ETFs by world's top asset managers, BlackRock, Fidelity, it all seems eminent. Oh, Fidelity's in the mix. I did not know that. I will say Fidelity, you can now buy and sell Bitcoin and Ethereum only on their exchange, on their, um, oh my God, on their brokerage if you have an account. You can move money into the crypto account. You set up that crypto account and move it in there, boom, buy, sell. And what's nice about that, and what's bad about it, so what's nice, you can see your your gains right away, or your losses, most likely with crypto sometimes, it's mostly you're in the red. And uh, the only bad thing, well, the good thing too then is, you know, if you see their ups and downs, you have all their reporting activity and the statements, and boom, you can get an idea what freaking taxes you owe, if you, if you make a billion bucks, you know, or you lose a billion bucks, you get to write it off, if you have stuff to write off. Yeah, uh, the bad thing is not your keys, not your coins. So if your stuff is on Fidelity and they decide to freeze you out, you're done. 
So, yeah, you got to watch out for banks and exchanges and stuff. Be very careful. All right, blah, blah, blah. Same old crap, ETF. The, see, look how old this is. Last week, the price of Bitcoin reached 35000 Fast forward a month and a half later, we're at 44000 Let's double check peeps. Peepers, la peep machine. Oh, my God. We're at 43894 oh my, oh, my God. ETH finally made some moves. I don't really track ETH. I could care less about Ethereum. I mind it, but I don't really give a crap about it. Oh, my God. Litecoin, please break 80. Do me a... F oh, my God. It's still down here. Come on. Get up there to the... Where were the little bastard? 113.22. I want to see Litecoin double, and then I'll start believing in it again. I own it. Full disclosure. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with it. Now I'm debating dump the turd and then... uh. Dump it in kind for Bitcoin, meaning swap it. Just the way you like to do with your wives. Just swap them. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we got Dogecoin to the moon. Look at that, guys. Dogecoin. Dogecoin. Doggy coin. Whatever you want to call it. No news. It's up to a whopping 10 cents, baby. 10 schmackaroo. I bet Musk must have tweeted about putting a Dogecoin on his rocket to the Mars. Uh, or putting a logo of the Dogecoin on the ship outside. That'd be funny. Put that puppy up to where it was back in here. What was what? 50 cents? 51 smackaroos, baby. If it goes to a buck, we're all going to be wealthy. Yeah. A country of billionaires. Woohoo. Yeah, right. <laughs> that would not, not be a good thing, I think. People would, what I learned about money, if everyone starts with the same amount of money, as it is now, the people that have money will end up with those people's money because people either have financial responsibility or smart about money and what the purpose of money is to buy freedom and opportunity, stuff like that. It's a tool. Uh, most people just piss it away and buy shiny objects and then they lose it. And then so it always, will, it always will flush out. It'll trickle back to the people that know how to make money and preserve it and the people that have no idea, like the lottery winners, lose it and they're back in uh, you know, welfare living in a ditch somewhere. So yeah, go figure. Go figure how that works. All right, man, that is it. I wanted to po uh, poke a little fun at that article. Uh, people now pumping, pumping up uh, Bitcoin more. I think the big thing realistically is those ETF approvals and if BlackRock, Fidelity, Vanguard are involved, come on, those are big players. It's a big club. We ain't in it. And these guys all have lunch together. All their kids are marrying each other, maybe incestuous too, who knows. And they all go to the same country clubs and they talk bad about us peasants. And uh, what, is, what is the one pres that one chick uh, say? Deplorables. Yeah. <laughs> anyway go forth do great things as always and uh yeah have fun with this this is kind of getting interesting i will talk to you later hey like subscribe we'll see what it does to the algo the algorithm is if it's fun you like it give it a thumbs up if not i don't care have fun with it i'm out hey where's my dog my dog is on the couch sleeping i think the dog is smarter than humans he just i'm gonna relax sit here let someone else feed me yeah go for a golf cart ride go to the beach come home repeat and maybe poop in between.